Aloha. Heading home. Stopped at Jehara. It's a little convenient. Well, it's kind of like a general store more than anything. They got you can buy fishing poles, guns, dog food, food, food. It's cool. It's next to a 7-Eleven. Most people go in 7-Eleven because that's what they're used to. But it's, uh, it's nice to have a local place where you can spend your money rather than at a chain somewhere. Pretty cool. Anyway, town called Curtis Town. It's next town up from Kao. Uh, and then my town is Mountain View. About six miles from the house, seven miles from the house, I think. So, anyway, uh, just came down here for a few things, heading home, but it's been a lazy day. It's been good. I went outside and did some sweeping, and then I got some diatomaceous earth from Home Depot yesterday. So that I can try to see if it'll take care of some of the little fire ants that we have at the house. The little fire ants have decimated all the other ant populations. I haven't seen one other kind of ant at all. These little fire ants, I don't want to say they're everywhere, but I have them at the house and they kind of walk around the perimeter of the house. They're kind of in the walls. Every once in a while they come out. You know, you can see them just like walking along the edges. Sometimes they end up, uh, sometimes they end up in like the kitchen. They come up from behind the fridge and then they walk along the top of the backsplash by the kitchen sink. They don't like get, they're not getting into stuff, but it's like they're irritating because when you get bit by one of those little freaking things, it burns. There's a reason why they're called fire ants. And the problem with these things, they're so small, you don't feel them walking on you. You don't see them. They move so slowly that you could be looking at them and you don't even realize it, especially in the house. The granite that we have, the tile that we have, the color of the, the wall paint, it's like they blend in so well. They're like a light reddish orange color. They're so small and they move so slowly that it's hard to notice them unless you're really looking for them. But uh, yeah, they're just a nuisance. Problem is, is that they can get on the animals. The animals don't feel them, but the ants, when they reach the, the like dogs, especially the dogs that are outside all the time, they'll bite the dogs, they'll get on their eyes and then they'll bite and it causes the dogs to go blind. It looks like the, uh, the, the dogs that have been, you know, bitten by these ants, they look like they have really thick cataracts in their eyes. It's crazy. So they're a nuisance. So I'm trying this di diatomaceous earth. It's non-toxic. It's food safe. You could sprinkle them on everything. It's supposed to kill fleas, ants, earwigs, slugs, snails, things like that. It's not poison. But I guess what it does is it's like really fine powder. It feels like talcum powder. But um, I think it's like a microscopic crystalline form or structure. And it gets on these bugs. I think it cuts them. It gets in their system. I don't know what happens, but it ends up killing them. So hopefully we can get these things under control. Well, they're under control, but get rid of them. Just tired of them. So we'll see what happens. Uh, I just don't want to deal with po spreading poison. I don't want to deal with trying to call a, a fumigator out. We don't really, since we're higher up in elevation, like 2,000 foot level, we don't really deal with termites too much. I haven't seen one. All my neighbors have never had a problem with them, but uh, yeah, I don't want to deal with termites either. So, um, no, it's nice. Weather's nice. It's kind of overcast right now. There's, you know, blue sky out there. But 
but there's dark clouds, there's light clouds, it's just beautiful. It rained till about 8.30 this morning. Sat around, drank coffee, watched some YouTube videos. Uh, I'm thinking about getting a, a laptop a PC that's specific for editing videos because I want to start editing videos, drone videos, putting together stuff maybe for YouTube or whatever or just to you know send to friends and family. Um, I have a Chromebook that can do the job but it seems like it just takes a while. It's a very simple program that it is. It's an app. It's not a program. It's an app because Chromebooks they don't you know can't download programs but um, it works okay. It's called Power Director. I made a few videos with it. It just, I don't know, maybe it's just because I'm not very good at editing. I don't have a lot of experience doing it. It just kind of doesn't seem super easy. But I don't know. I'm probably just doing it wrong. It would be nice if I had somebody that knows how to do it, that's really good at it, that's sitting next to me saying, okay, click right here. This is what that does. This is what this does. So I don't know. I'm having a lot of fun taking pictures, taking videos, shooting, you know, drone stuff, drone footage. Going on walks, watching the rain, listening to the rain, and that's one thing that I always have fun doing. Is as soon as I hear the rain, I yell out, "It's raining!" Because I love the rain. I love the rain. The humidity. It's nice to be like you fit a feel a sweat going. It doesn't bother me too much, but I guess other parts of the country, Houston, <laughs> parts of the Midwest, it gets really bad. It's a lot worse there than it is here. Plus, at the 2,000 foot level, it's not as bad as like down in Hilo because I live on the Hilo side of the island. Um, and at my house, the average rainfall in Mountain View, I think, is approximately 20 or 16 feet. 16 feet of rain. So it's cool because my catchment tank, I get water from the roof of my house when it rains, it drains through the rain gutters goes through a pipe and goes down into my catchment tank. I have an overflowing catchment tank. It's about 15,000 gallons of water right now, fresh rain water that goes through a filter, a five micron filter, and then through a UV light that kills any kind of microorganisms that might be in there. And I drink the best, freshest, sweetest taste in water. Don't have to treat it, don't have to do anything. It's awesome. Water is so soft when you take a shower, it's like the soap doesn't want to come off because it's such a soft water that it's like it just beads off like a, a fresh coat of wax on your car. Awesome! So I'm loving it in Hawaii now that I'm retired. My stress level has gone down, and I think being in Hawaii has been half of my stress being gone. Retirement, definitely. Stress level has gone down with retirement. But also, not being in California anymore, the stress level here in Hawaii is hard to describe. Other than, you know, it sounds kind of cliche for here in the islands, but living in Aloha has really helped. So, especially with my tattoo. <laughs> I want to get some more pretty soon. I got to get this part done. But, um, I don't know, I love it. I'm driving up Volcano Highway, and probably about, I think, right here where I am, Volcano, the, the park in Kilauea entrance is about 13, no, 12 miles from here. I just passed mile marker 16. The entrance is just past mile marker 28. So 12 miles away is the Kilauea Volcano Caldera. Uh, just straight in front of me, is the peak of Mount Aloha and right out my right side window is Mauna Kea where all the observatories are. Directly behind me, which I uh, can't see the camera angle. Let me turn my phone a little bit. I don't know if you can see it or not, but directly behind me is the Pacific Ocean in Hilo. So, and I'm going due south towards South Point, the southernmost point in the entire United States, which is pretty cool to go there anyway I'm driving down my street now well down the entrance to my house and uh, it's 
it's a narrow street. You gotta kind of pull over and wait for cars to go by. But, eh, it's nice. Big trees, big vines, lots of green. No brown hills, no brush fires. <sighs> Very little litter. Uh, peace and quiet. No airplanes flying over. There's an occasional helicopter. Maybe every other day you'll hear a hel helicopter or two because they're going flying tourists from Hilo down up to the volcano to check out, you know, everything, looking for waterfalls and stuff. I don't know. I don't know what to tell you other than uh, I love it here. I'm not trying to make anybody feel jealous, but I love it here. Some of the some of the locals when they asked me why why do you decide to move here why are you going to retire here of all places because this is the Puna district and it's kind of like counties even though Hawaii Island is Hawaii County Oahu is Oahu County Maui is Maui County but here on this island there are districts eight different districts and my district is the Puna district P U N A. And uh, it's kind of like a county. Um, it's, the island is divided up into like pie, a pie in the center of the island, and then just kind of pieces of the pie. And it was done like that back a long time ago for the different chieftains that run ran the you know that were in charge of their tribes, and it gave made peace. They had their own little piece of the pie. There's a Hilo district. There's a Kau district. It's Kona District, South Kona District, South Hilo. Uh, there's, I don't remember them all off the top of my head, but uh, it's a it's a beautiful place, and uh, I don't remember the point I was making. But here in the Puna District, it's kind of like you know a lot of forest, a lot of jungle, and and the people that you know quizzed me about it is like, why here? Because this is paradise to me. Somebody that grew up here might think it's boring, but this is where I'm from, where I've grown up, where I've lived, where I've worked, where I've raised my family. I appreciate all that, but this place is so much more enjoyable and stress free that. I can't think of a better place to be. Can't think of it. So, anyway, I appreciate you guys going on a ride with me. I'm home now, so I'm gonna have to sign off, say a hui ho and uh, aloha. <laughs>